the Chitwa National Park. We find ourselves on board a traditional dugout canoe as we cruise down the Rapti River on the lookout for the marsh mugger crocodile. Bees don't tip, do they, Nima? We pass a few little birds and paddle in the almost crystal clear water. I'm thinking if there's crocs in here, they're going to be tiny. But how wrong could I be? Look at the snout on it. Yeah. Oh, how long is it? Now the heart is beating a little faster and we sit exceptionally still as we have a marsh mugger to the left and a gharial to the right. That's just made my nervous levels go through the roof because it is very, very shallow and this canoe keeps rocking from side to side. This baby elephant is looking rather hungry and has his eyes on our tripod. <laughs> That's mine, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> this area is part of an elephant breeding centre. After being around the elephants all afternoon, we head down to the river for one of the most special moments of the trip. Here it comes! Now we're all clean, it's time to get out and go on safari in search of the great Indian rhino. Spotting a peacock and a few deer, we keep searching through the bushes and then walking right in front of us, there they are. These magnificent animals are related to the prehistoric creatures that roamed the earth over 50 million years ago. Today, there are only around 3,000 left in the world. It's unbelievable, we've just seen four rhinos, two huge rhinos just messing about in the uh, forest here. I don't even think the footage would do it justice, I think you need to be there to experience the sound and I suppose the anticipation of that as well. And then, uh, and then the excitement to come out and think, oh my god there's a rhino and it's just there, so it's, it's a pretty cool experience. Isn't it? 